You married her. I know. Dude. What took you so long? <laughs> All right. You're gonna be very, very, very happy, I know. Judge asked me if I take you to be my husband, and I didn't answer. It took you like an hour to answer, but you said yes. <laughs> That's because I was raised to believe that oaths really mean something. And by saying yes, it meant that I said yes to you and me being married. Not yes to covering up what happened to Sophie or protecting you or your mother but you did say me yes happy. I said yes because I want to be your wife well and I'm so glad and that means that I have forgiven you I, I think none of this would have happened if I okay had. you know if I've forgiven you I, let's just please forget oh, okay, it again I don't talk about it okay I'll work on that I don't want you to work on it it's not some kind of parole you're on or something. You know, no matter what else happened today, we, we got married. Yes, we did. And it's a first start, right? I mean, husband and wife, 50-50. to me what, what am i doing to you i'm you know just what, trying mike you're usually pretty direct but you've been showing up out of nowhere with strange questions and veiled accusations and now you're trespassing on my property i want to know what happened to sophie why why are you so interested in sophie all of a sudden why has she become so important to you uh, i don't i don't quite know do you like her this, this, this girl that cried rape, this girl that tried to murder my mother-in-law? Oh, so what, she, she had it coming? I didn't Is that what say that! I don't mean that. Why do you assume that, that something happened to her? I mean, why couldn't she have just run away? Because she was pregnant and she was scared. So I think we need to at least find out where the hell she went. Why do you even care? Why? Look, either everybody matters or nobody matters. Okay, well, what about... Me and Paul, do we matter? Why did you marry him? I yes. love him! I, I didn't finish my question. Why did you marry him today? What was the rush? Uh, his mother wanted it, all right? Why, so you couldn't testify against him? Okay, you've probably... 
across way too many lines. I'm not listening to this. No, I, you know, I don't care, Meg. You are too smart and too decent to be part of some cover-up. She was pregnant with Paul's baby, and, and he doesn't care what happened? If she's out there someplace, he should at least want to know where she is so, so, so he can at least send some money. Or does he know that wherever she is, she can't use it? Don't say that! Yeah, I... Your hands are dirty. Hmm. Yeah, it was just I was admiring your garden. The roses were planted today, weren't they? Yeah, for the wedding. We got married today, but you know, you would know that because you were spying on us. <laughs> I, I was not spying. I was watching. And I'm gonna keep watching. I think you need to go. And don't come back. I am not giving up on this. I'm getting old. Why? So he can take care of me, too? Stop it! on his hands and he was asking about the rose bushes. Mike took off. He must have left him. You were coming to get me. Did you just check the bushes? Had he been digging in there? Everything was just the way we left it. You know, I don't think he's going to give up everything. Really well, there's not a whole lot we can do about that, is there? You know, you keep saying that, but... But what? Why did he leave? Because he knew you were coming to get me. No, Paul, he's not afraid of you. In fact, he's itching to go one-on-one -on -one with you. No, he left because he has another plan. On the next, as the world turns. Something happened to Sophie, and Paul Ryan knows what it is. You think that I killed Sophie? I would love to take a look at your garden. I hope that's not going to be a problem.